Hi there, this is Vivs here. In this video, I will show you the steps involved in running a Java program. In the first step, you create the program using an editor. Now that could be Notepad or Notepad++ if you're on Windows or it could be text edit on the Mac. Other than these programs, you have Sublime Text Editor or Atom Text Editor that runs on both Windows and Mac. Once you're done making the program, you can store it on your secondary storage or USB flash drive. Then you would compile the program which would generate a dot class file. Now this file is loaded into the primary memory or RAM with the help of something called a class loader. And then it is verified to ensure that it does not violate any security restrictions. And finally the code is run by your Java virtual machine. Let's take a look at these steps in detail. So in the first step, the editor is going to let you store your Java file with a .java extension on secondary storage. Now we move to the next step where we compile the program with the help of the Java compiler. Now while doing the code on IntelliJ, compiling and running the program was done when you click the run button at the top. However, if you were using notepad or text edit as your editor, then you would have to start the command prompt on Windows or terminal on Mac and then type Java C space file name dot Java. That would generate a file after compilation which is called hello world dot class for our hello world application. The Java compiler will translate the source code that is contained inside your hello world dot Java file into byte codes that are contained inside the hello world dot class file. Now this byte code will be run in the final step by the Java virtual machine. So why this two stage process? That's one of the questions that people have in the beginning. The idea here is that machines are different. They all have their own instructions, which may be slightly different from other machines out there. For example, the way the operating system works on Windows is different from the way it works on Mac. Java Virtual Machine is made as a translator that takes the same bytecode and converts it into different machine level instructions regardless of the platform on which it is running. In simple words, if you wrote a program on Windows and you generated bytecodes out of that, which is the hello world.class file. And if you try to run the same class file on the Mac, it will still work because JVM will handle the process of translating stuff across machines, which is why Java is platform independent in the first place. In the next step, it's time to start running your program. And that would involve loading that compiled dot class file into your primary memory or RAM. Now this can be loaded through your disk or over some network. Once all the bytecodes have been loaded into memory, at this point, the bytecode verifier takes action. It checks whether the code that is present in the memory loaded right now doesn't violate any security restrictions. To ensure that programs running do not damage your files or your system such as viruses, in the final stage, JVM would run your program and it does this by converting those bytecode instructions into something the machine understands. And this would be specific, for example, Windows would have its own set of instructions and Mac would have its own instructions. So the act of running a Java program is basically two steps. In the first step, your source code from the Java file is converted into a dot class file that contains bytecodes. In the second step, that bytecode is converted with your JVM into machine specific code for that particular machine. So hopefully you guys understood what happens from the point you write a program till the point it runs on the system. Be sure to Google these things out as part of the Googleable section of this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Have a nice day.